basis of allegations of criminal offenses whose evidence has not been tried and tested in court of law or by bodies mandated to investigate would be to disqualify me from the possibility of holding public office in relation to Article 99.3 without the benefit of due process of law and exhaustion of the systems of appeal as provided in the penal code. Mr. Speaker, I do not wish to respond to the issues I had this morning that are outside the motion. I want to confirm that I have tremendous respect for Kenyan women and I have never disrespected them. What has happened is that as politicians, there is always propaganda to undermine somebody. I call upon anybody with evidence that I have ever disrespected that person to come out and provide that evidence. I had my very great friend, the Honorable Faith Gitao, say that I disrespect women. Many times I've been to Nyandarwa, I've referred to Honorable Faith Getau as Ngatha. Gatha is a Kikuyu name for a woman of great respect. That I have done countless times is on video. Finally, the Honorable Boz Sholei, I heard what you said in Eldoret. I heard this morning that you said I should be charged with treason. But my sister, me, I'm a grateful man. I remember, and I'll never forget, during the last administration when I was arrested on fabricated charges, for starting with the President William Ruto against the wish of the government at that time, Gladys Boshulai came and sat with me at DCI headquarters, brought me tea, brought me lunch, sat with me, comforted me. At court, she coordinated the collection of 12.5 million shillings as my cash bill. She came to see me in Gigiri for four days and had very kind words for me. Despite what you have said to my sister, I do remember that one good thing that you did for me. And I love you and cherish you for the rest of my life. Finally, Mr. Speaker, as I wind up, I want to appeal to this Honorable House to consider the allegations against me by the mover of the motion, weight against the attached evidence, weight against my defense and the attachments and the videos that I've played in this house. And exercise your mind and exercise your discretion. Search your conscience and decide if regarding Ashagwa is guilty of any of those allegations or is undergoing a political process. If you are so persuaded and you search your conscience without any intimidation or coercion or inducement and you think it's the right thing to do, please go ahead and do so. If you search your conscience and listen to the issues that have been adduced here and you find that there are no grounds to impeach the Deputy President of the Republic of Kenya, please make the right decision. But as you do so, many members who are in this house remember what President William Ruto as Deputy President went through. Most of us stood with him. Regarding Ashagua, underwent four years of persecution. Others were persecuted. But we took a firm stand because we believed we were doing the right thing. <clears throat> His family went underwent humiliation. His friends underwent humiliation. He was a haunted man, and on Integration Day, he pronounced himself that freedom is here. Again, under the new administration, the same regarding Ashagwa, who had went humiliation and persecution, finds himself in the same space under that administration that he fought for. 
apply, look, reflect, and apply your conscience and make the right decision. Mr. Speaker of the House, I want to thank you for granting me this opportunity. And my address last night was not in any way meant to disrespect the House. Despite, Mr. Speaker, you having ruled that the matter should not be taken out of the House, it was being discussed in every TV station, in every meeting across Kenya. And Kenyans did not have a chance to also hear my side of the story. So I decided, since the accusations against me were everywhere in the country, the people of Kenya, and more so those who voted for me and President William Ruto, deserved also to hear my side of the story. I have tremendous respect for the National Assembly and your ability and capacity to make the right decision. Mr. Speaker, I want to thank you. Asante Nisala.